Hey guys, welcome back to my studio fix. Okay, so I wanted to bring my May favorites in. Yes, I know it is almost the middle of June, but it's not quite the middle. So I'm going to show you my May favorites and hopefully you will see something and pick up on it and say, hey, you know what, let me try that also. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you are these right here. Now, this is the big box. And I have small ones. The ones that I keep in my purse are in a small little package. But these are just regular baby wipes. These are just wet wipes that you can uh, have. Now, being that it's almost, well, that it, in a couple of days it'll be summer. But coming into from the spring to the summer and summer into the fall, I live by these things. Because... When you're feeling sticky, when you want to eat and you, you know, something's on your hand and you're out and you want to just grab a bite to eat, you can always use a wet wipe. Uh, yes, yeah, still use some hand sanitizer or something, but this is like my favorite thing to have in the car, in my purse, at home, everywhere. So, wet wipes. Don't sleep on them. Okay, so, the next thing, I'm just, and I'm just picking up things at random, so... I'm not going in any particular order. So this next thing is my Fix Plus from MAC. And I just spray it. You know, just, it's just awesome. I mean, you know, it gives you a refreshed look. It, if your makeup has started to kind of just dwindle away or whatever, dwindle away or whatever, um, the Fix Plus kind of really helps. They also have some have some other ones that if you really want to get into this and try it out, you should go to Mac or to somewhere else and find out about the Fix Plus. You can look right here on YouTube and find out some things that people use. But I really like the Fix Plus because like I said, it really helps to refresh you after you've had your makeup on for a while. Or even if you don't have on makeup and you just have that... Um, kind of sticky feeling from the day because it's hot you can just take and spray some of this on your face and it just kind of refreshes your face okay so the next thing since we're talking about faces is this uh, St. Eyes scrub this is the blemish and blackhead control now I don't have a lot of acne but every now and then around my chin area and right here at the top of my T-zone I will get um, a lot of breakouts and, and because it's mainly because you know I wear makeup and then it's like oh I'll just take a wipe and wipe it off and I'll wash my face later yes I know that's so disgusting but after you've had it on all day and you're tired sometimes you just say well I'll wash my face later that is a bad bad habit don't do that okay so but this St. Ives um, naturally clear apricot, apricot scrub blemish and blackhead control is really great check it out actually I got this one I think at Walmart so they have them at Walmart Walgreens um, just your drug local drug stores okay so the next thing is I also like this one this is from Neutrogena, um, and it's the oil-free acne wash, and it's the pink grapefruit foaming scrub. Now, I'll use this one a little bit more often than I use the other one that I showed you, the other one from St. Ives. I'll use this one a little bit more uh, because... I just like this one a little better. Now, I do like both of them, but I kind of switch them out because for some reason, my, if my skin gets too accustomed to one thing, then when I try to use something else, it's like, uh, no, go back to the other stuff. Now, I do wash my face every day with Noxzema. Like, that's, I do that every day. It doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah, I use this, like, maybe two or three times a week. I'll use this, okay? All right, so the next thing... In taking care of my face I will use the black soap now this is one from Ambi now I'm not really crazy about this one but I do like it this this was one of my favorites for the month I will say that it was a favorite because I didn't have the one that I normally use so I used this one and in using this one it was it, it had shea butter in it so it was kind of uh it was soft to my skin so I would put my Noxzema on and then rub the shea butter in my towel and then wash my face like that so it did give me a lot of moisture so yeah this is one of my favorites just the black soap in general Alright, so let's see this one. This is the Noxzema. 
Noctima. Duh. This is the uh, Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant Vitalizing Body Gel Oil. <laughs> Whew, all of that. Okay, so this is just really great. I really like to use this. Uh, I use lotion every day or some kind of a body cream, but every now and then I'll just mix a little bit of this with it just to give my, my skin that extra amount of moisture that it needs because it is so hot and so drying where I am that you just need that little bit of extra oil. So that's why I use this, okay? And they also like at Walmart and Walgreens and some of those stores, they'll have like a generic brand of this. And if you don't want to spend however much this is, try the generic brand because a lot of times the generic brand will be just as good. I mean, it'll cost a little bit less, but it'll be okay not as good as the name brand products but sometimes the generic product is even better okay it just depends on you and your skin alright so the next thing is during the summertime and all the time one of my favorite things to keep in a little spray bottle is some alcohol so this is just alcohol that I have around now everybody always says alcohol is so drying alcohol is so this alcohol is so that but it's a great disinfectant so a lot of times I will take this and spray it on my brushes or I will um, like if I nick myself while I'm working on my face or something and I know that's very random and very probably won't happen I'll just take it and spray it like that instead of having to stop go get a wipe um, a little wipe a little pad or something you can just take and spray your alcohol and keep rolling alright so the next thing I have really liked so far is this Nivea cream. Now Nivea uh, has a lot of great products and I've actually picked this up at Walgreens and it's it's really great, really soothing to my hands because my hands are really dry because they're in water a lot. So I have to have to have to keep some type of moisturizer. So I really like that. Uh <laughs> Moving on, this is uh, the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. And actually, this one is about to hit pan. I don't know if you can see it. But, um, yeah, I really like this. And I don't like to wear a lot of foundation. As a matter of fact, I really don't like to wear any foundation. I just do concealer under my eyes most of the time. And then I'll use this Mineralized Skin Finish to put all over my face. And it gives me that same coverage that I'm looking for if I had on a full face of foundation. But these are really great. They help you set your uh, under eye found your under eye concealer. Also, if you um, get them in a few shades lighter than your skin, you can also use them as highlighters. If you get them a few shades darker, you can use them to contour. So the max. Um, mineralized skin finishes can be used for so much so this is going to always be a favorite of mine this is one of those items that if they discontinued it I probably would cry okay um uh, let's see moving on these I've told you all before I love lip balms I love them because they just keep your lips moisturized. You need them before you take off your lipstick, before you even put it on, you need them. So these are always really great to have. This one is just one that I picked up from the beauty supply store and it's Cocoa Care Cocoa Butter Lip Balm. Moisturizes and conditions your lips. Now this one doesn't have any SPF in it, I don't think. And usually I like to um, use one that has an SPF in it, but even if they don't I will use this one just like when I'm at home around the house or if I just need one to throw on right quick and I'm going to be putting on lipstick or something a little bit later so I really like these um okay this is a bottle of well actually this one is from Ruby Kisses this is just a bottle of clear coat uh a lot of people like to wear color on their nails and when I do wear color on my nails I do, but most of the time I don't have color on my nails. I don't even wear nails that often. I used to wear them a long time ago, but now I just usually wear my own nails because, again, I'm in water so much, and my own nails are so thick and will grow so long on their own, even though I keep them cut down. It's really good to have this clear coat. Also, when I go and get a pedicure and I just 
say I go get it this week and then next week I don't have time to go and get it I can just put a little clear cloak clear coat on top of it and go so that's why I, one of my favorite things for um, the month of May would have to be this top clear coat and I, I really like the ones from Beauty Secrets and um, Sally so check that one out also alright so the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is this NYX purple rain lip liner now during the spring and summer really all year round but especially during the spring and summer I really really like to wear pink lipsticks um I just recently after all this time got the Lady Gaga um the MAC Viva Glam Gaga lip gloss lip glass I I just got it all wrong today guys but I just recently got the lip glass and the lipstick and also the Nicki Minaj the Viva Glam Nicki and the Viva Glam the Pink Friday yeah the Pink Friday that's what it's called all three from MAC and this is like a really great lip liner to go with them and you can pretty much wherever you can pick up NYX they will usually have the purple rain and it's at number 838 so pick it up try it out these are really great this is a really great color to have alright so the last and final thing that I want to show you guys that was a part of my favorites for the month of May are these double ended brushes now I do a lot of traveling and in traveling I have to um, pack light because number one going into the airport you can't have a lot of stuff and number two if you're traveling in the car you can't have a lot of stuff because it just gets in the way so with these brushes and I've shown these brushes before but especially during this time of the year these are like my favorites you got your spoolie you got your you have everything right here concealer eyeliner I'm eyeshadow you can do everything with these three brushes that are actually six and I bought these at Walmart you can get them at Walmart actually I was watching Nitra B uh, probably a year ago and she was talking about these brushes and she was putting her makeup on with them and I was like you know what let me go try those out and these have actually been some of my favorite favorite brushes I have about three or four sets of them so yeah check these out go to Walmart don't sleep on your inexpensive brushes lady I'm telling you you don't always have to spend sixty dollars on one brush to accomplish the look that you want alright so I think that's it yeah I know alright sorry guys the camera cut off of course the memory was full um so yeah don't forget to I hope you first of all I hope you enjoyed everything if you have questions please be sure to put them below in the comment bar and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later Peace, you too.